start the recording. Can you see my screen, Uta? It's loading. Still not. Now Helen is here. Hi. Hi. But Efrat is not here. Yes, so Efrat is not here yet. Mm -hmm. Can you see my screen now or not? No, it's just, it's, it says loading. Yeah, oh, Helen left. No, no, I'm Helen. Is, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, okay. Okay, can you see my screen now? Click to exit full screen, it says. Okay. Now I see your drive, Google Drive. Okay. So now you should see everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see now the the globe, right? Yes, I see the globe. Oi, if Efrat doesn't make it. I will call her, okay? Mm -hmm. An Annette is here. No, it it's doesn't not. Answer. Doesn't answer. Ina, if right here now, she's here. Okay. 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 Good. Um, Annette, we need Annette Hill. Yes, Annette Hill. I will admit her. I'll just create a... <clears throat> well, Greta is not here. Ah, here she is. Admit. Hi, I will send the link in the WhatsApp group of Jerusalem Star at least. Um, ah, for for um, Elisabetta and Stefano. Yeah. Okay, Grete, can you hear us? Is my sound good? Very good. Ah, Yofi. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we're ready to start. Yes. So we admit Paul, so please mute yourself. Mm -hmm. How is my sound, Uta? Very good, very clear. Okay, so we're admitting.
Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As always, we connect from around the world, joining in our circle. This is the first meeting in our new season of the Jerusalem Meditation, and I warmly welcome everyone and grateful for being today together for our focused Jerusalem meditation. I welcome you on behalf of the Hikal group and the 2025 initiative. Over to you, Uta. Hello friends, today we are on a new platform, Zoom platform, let's see how that works. Welcome everyone, also from us, uh, in our Jerusalem meditation we come together once a month in order to work with the energies that flow through Jerusalem. Due to the dramatic happenings in Israel uh, at large, we have decided today to widen our view beyond Jerusalem to the nation as a whole. So today, Efrat will tell us a little bit about what is happening in Jerusalem and also in the wider Israel-Palestine area. And after that, we will take it into meditation. And uh, then we will have our sharing. So over to you, Efrat. Thank you, Uta. Good evening, friends. Morning, good afternoon. Uh, as Uta said, it's not only uh, because uh, the large event uh, we shift a little bit from Jerusalem to all over Israel and Palestine. It's also because the main activities now are not concentrated in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, we have the Supreme Court House where a very, very crucial and important uh, um issues comes up now yet without any decision but this is one focus and when there are a meeting in the supreme court house there is a huge demonstration support so demonstration uh, next to this place supporting the judge and the system the democracy in israel Another uh, center is Tel Aviv, which every Saturday evening for 38 weeks, which is eight months, every weekend, every uh, evening, there is hundreds of thousands of people gathering uh, with the... Um, Supporting democracy and equality and do not uh, agree to, to accept this new movement or these new ideas that the government try to force us to accept, which is actually will bring Israel to a uh, dictatorship. Um, in in uh, what came out, and I don't think it was uh, present from ahead, but what came out during these 38 weeks, it's the rise of a new force in Israel society, in Israel climate, in Israel environment. It's a, it's a force which uh, hold the values of uh, equal democracy for everyone, 
liberalism against uh, racism and all this uh, stuff that this government brings. Uh, the, the fact that it holds for 38 weeks really uh, can show us or prove us that this force is here to stay with a new new wave, a new uh, liberalism, which changed the political, what, what we used to see the political maps as right and left, religious and secular. This new force uh, holds people from all the uh, all the population of Israel. It seems, uh, or oh, it's a fact that actually eighty percent of the Israeli people are against this new program. Um, Another point which I would like to bring a light is uh, more and more growth and more and more presence of a group within the, this uh, demonstration, which called looks to the occupation in the eye. This group of people hold the idea of uh, we must ending the occupation and that there is no democracy with occupation. At the beginning of this demonstration, they were quite in the periphery, but now they're gaining gain more and more support, more and more people enjoy this movement, and more and more Israeli, it's not the mainstream, but more and more Israeli start to make <clears throat> the necessary connection between occupation and uh, democracy. Um, there is another uh, in a initiative which called the silence demonstration. Uh, those are people who support the this new movement, the strong movement, but which are doing it silently, not joining the main uh, demonstration in, in Kaplan every week. There is another group who calls Uta if you can can translate it, Shtika Roemet. A very loud silence. Yes, which is a cooperation between Israeli and Palestinian. Palestinian uh, silence walking together in a area or villages which uh, suffered from the settle, settlers violent. So we can see from one hand a very big, huge, important movement, and we can take the light onto the the difference and yet hold the same idea of, of different groups. So I think this is bring the the picture uh, today, tonight. Today or yesterday, Netanyahu went to, to the state and uh, met a lot of demonstration there against him in New York and in San Francisco. Um, from the Jewish uh, community there, but not only Jewish, or uh, many supporters of the democracy in the state, they are worried about the, what will be in Israel, where are will we still have a common values? So it goes from Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Israel, Palestine, all over the world. Thank you all to, to join us. Thank you, Efrat, for this very potent sharing, bringing us into the atmosphere of Israel. And uh, we will now support these happenings in our meditation. Um, we are still in the sign of Virgo. So let us utilize the love which flows through Virgo. Let us become a channel for it and make it available to those forces which seek 
to align, actually it is to align with the soul of this nation, young soul. We don't know for sure what the sign, the astrological sign of the soul of Israel is. In some exoteric charts, it's Aquarius. But we do know that Virgo is the soul sign of the Jewish people. And we know that Israel is a Jewish enterprise. So let us keep this in mind and uh, may the Jewish soul energy guide this present struggle. Okay, so let us get ready. Taking a deep breath. Settling in our inner silence. Relaxing into the embrace of the mother of the world. Focusing in the center of the head. Gently, steadily. And drawing a line, a line of light upwards to the soul. We stand in soul consciousness. Let us now come together as a group in our outpost within the aura of Jerusalem. As we enter our outpost, let us sense its magnetic field. Letting our hearts connect within the group heart. And aligning our thinking with the group mental field. Coming into telepathic rapport. We stand as souls under our common purpose of being an outpost of the will to love in Jerusalem. We align now with the high vibration network of soul workers around the world. The Ajna center of the planet. and attuning now to the planetary heart center hierarchy.
as a group that are synchronized now with the vibration of the Aframic co-workers who guide this Jerusalem meditation project. Let us sense this specific vibration. And within it, let us now from our outpost overlook the city. We stay with the high alignment and we look down on Jerusalem. And gently now enlarging our view. Towards Tel Aviv. And the whole area of Israel Palestine. Gently gradually. And taking a moment to just observe. This large, physical, emotional, and mental field. Focusing back on our, in our outpost for a moment. And turning our receptors upwards now. Opening ourselves to the golden energy overlighting Jerusalem. Some call it the Sun Christ vibration. Let us take some time now to just stand in this golden vortex.
gradually let us bring our attention back into our group field and collecting the golden energy like a raw material and molding it into the will to love. Using the back part of our heart between the shoulder blades to hold this raw material until it becomes the will to love, the will to right relations. And we may sense golden devas helping us in this task. And now let us see this will flow into the city. Stream forth throughout the city and beyond. Into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. And see this stream strengthen those who are already resonating with it on the streets of Jerusalem and of Tel Aviv and in the whole country. Visualize it qualifying the atmosphere, raising the vibration in this area, slowly imposing a higher order. See the golden devas weave this higher vibration into the aura of Israel-Palestine. The will to love. Visualize it now spreading beyond the borders into the whole of the Middle East. See a band of golden energy connect Jerusalem 
with Darjeeling. You can see the band extending east to Tokyo. And over the ocean to New York. And further to London. To Geneva. and back to Jerusalem. Visualize the will to love like a golden wave spread all over the planet. The will to unify. As this wave continues to flow, let us now leave our outpost and return each one of us to our own location on the planet, spreading out, taking our stand in our own location, anchoring the golden energy right where we are. And let us seal our work with the sounding of the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. In the Kudat Ha'or, Sher Bedat El, Yisrom Ha'or, El Da'at Adam. ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים, משרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא מין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה. את התוכנית על פני האדמה. מן נוקטת אל-נור פי אל-עקל אל-אלהי, ליושע אל-נור פי עקול אל-נאס, וליהבת אל-נור אל אל-ארד. מן נוקטת אל-חוב פי אל-אלב אל-אלהי, ליתסרב אל-חוב פי אל-עקלוב אל-נאס. وليرجع سيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس الباشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب 
والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God let light stream forth into the minds of men let light descend on earth from the point of love within the heart of God let love stream forth into the hearts of men may Christ return to earth from the center where the will of God is known let purpose guide the little wills of men the purpose which the masters know and serve From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you very much, friends. Let us open the floor now for any sharing that you would like to make. Hi, this is Efran. Thank you Uta, for this powerful meditation. I would like to bring only one impression. There was many, but I would like to bring only one. Um, I didn't mention when I brought the, the picture of what happened here, I didn't bring the, the amount of violence that uh, is present now in the street and among people um, and in this meditation bring bringing down the will to love and this uh, special uh, quality of light wrote me an image of um, huge timeless capsula 
which like freeze the whole reality just to stop really just for a to stop all this uh, emotion and dynamic and uh, pressures and to this uh, this capsule and this light just came in and, and kind of uh, melted the 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 strong emotion and uh, it brought a lot of feeling thank you Mm. Well, I'm really glad to hear Efrat. This is Margo. The golden light was all there is and then a more substantial darker gold beam shone through it just like a laser beam as if it was will and the golden light was love will infusing and aligning and adding purpose to love this frequency of the will to love spark and strengthen the same more dormant frequency in the hearts of the people, awakening them further. And this spread around the globe, unifying. I was aware of being a fractal of the group, being a radiant sounding beacon in my neighborhood and seeing people's faces and hearts light up as they registered, even slightly, the sounding joy and saw the beauty around them. Mm -hmm. this deep gratitude for the meditation and for the sounding of the three, the, of the invocations in the three languages. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Margo. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Uta, for that beautiful meditation. Um, from the very beginning, I, I felt the courage of Virgo, the courage that was streaming from that mother to all the mothers of Israel with love and support. And then when you took us into that first period of silence where there was for me an anticipation of receiving and seeing a bright golden light it wasn't there and instead it was a grayness that I stood within and continued to watch wondering why it was gray but then as we neared that end of that period of silence it was as if a cloud moved away slowly and surely, and the golden light, just as a cloud and the sun comes when a cloud moves in front of the sun and away from the sun, just sort of gently and with increasing brightness illuminated that field. And then when Uta suggested that we recognize the materialization of that golden light between our shoulder blades, um, I was struck with an image of an octahedron. And it became that reflecting source of the golden radiation um, th through which there were threads that touched each of the points that were mentioned. And as they, they, and as they, they touched those points, it was as if they were being sewn into the fabric of the earth, which I, I think was about grounding and infiltrating that energy of compassion and that will to love. And then when we were asked to then bring it to its final resting place and stand with that golden light and that thread for me, it, 
it became this very elaborate visualization of being knotted and anchoring that light mm -hmm. securely into the earth. So thank you all. My love is with all of my Israeli brothers and sisters. Thank you, Andrea. Your love comes through. Hi, this is Helen from Israel. Um, I'm so grateful for the meditation. I'm grateful for the group. Um, the golden energy is ever present and tangible. And uh, Often I feel that it does not come down to where it is needed. Um, and today um, the group intention and the meditation allowed it to flow and to reach, reach the people. And this was my main uh, um, my main impression in this meditation. So thank you all. Mm. Glad to hear from both your antennas on the ground that it reached. Very impressed hearing about this shift that is happening in Israel with voices coming from uh, protesters acknowledging, calling to acknowledge the occupation. For me, it's a sign of really deep shift happening within the Israeli nation. Some reason for a long time, I, I didn't think about it, kind of, not that I forgot about it, but it wasn't in the focus of my attention that, uh, as we know, uh, Jewish people hold the solar plexus of humanity. And so if to take this into account and recognize this shift happening within the Israel, in a way it can be a sign of that much deeper shift within humanity happening. In my uh, perception, acknowledging and calling the nation to recognize something traumatic as occupation uh, for both Palestinians and Jewish people of Israel. It's, it's really sign of that acknowledgement and readiness to deep healing. Yeah. Yeah, inshallah. Really big hope comes from this.
This is Mark on the telephone in Sarasota, Florida. Can you hear me? Yes, Mark. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. My family. I don't know quite what I'm going to say yet. Just let my heart speak a little. And it begins with the joy. And uh, there's a sadness in there, too, because we're not together enough, in my opinion, especially in person of the of our Jerusalem family uh, it so feels so good to be with everybody now um, it's I'm with you every day and uh, this of course is very special because it's the Jewish New Year <laughs> so it's a big deal in a way, uh, although I'm not attending shul, I feel it, and it, it's with me. Um, the golden light, yes, absolutely. The golden light really was there, Uta, and is there now. And so much chaos here in the States with our political system and then with over there with Netanyahu, it actually feels like a very good thing. We're stirring the soup to have something really delicious arrive out of it finally. Getting rid of the that which is not wanted, you know, showing up and the protests, it's tough times, but we'll get over it. And the persistence of, of the people, the Jewish, the Palestinians that want peace, the Christians, the uh, so many traditions and people that don't have a tradition that's just really wanting peace to be able to walk down the streets and, and safety. I know what that feels like in Jerusalem to live there, and uh, thank you for living there, my dear friends who are there now, uh, are, are dealing with the, the frequencies. I think about you very, very often. Um, there are practices now that help us to see that we are in the fifth dimension. It's here. It's actually here, the dimension where we are at harmony and uh, the, the dimensions of the masters. It, it is here. We can feel it. So um, it's a nice thing to practice just having the trees speak to each other, watching them do that. Just let Mother Earth rise up through the body and in a transformative way help us to feel what it's like to be the oneness. And I feel like that's very helpful to the whole process is to, to allow that frequency to emerge in us and through us and down the neighborhoods. And I can feel it right now in Jerusalem. And, mm -hmm. and, the, and the, uh, the Virgo is really helping us with this, huh? Ah, good. Well, you yeah. take it from here. I just, that's what I wanted to express. It's here, and if we access it, then it helps us, and it helps our health, and it and it helps our neighborhoods, and it helps the entire mishpoch of the world. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, good. Thank you so well, much, Ujan. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. If anyone would like to give us feedback on this uh, expansion that we today did beyond Jerusalem, focusing on the whole area of Israel and Palestine, we would appreciate it. Um, which I might add, add a few words to what I shared before, that impression that it's came from the meditation that we actually 
as we focus on Jerusalem, and today we focus on the larger area, it's not just the city or the country or the region. It's that tension that is focused within that city, within the nation, is about all of us. It's about whole humanity. And I feel that it's very... appropriate recognition of that even if regardless of what territorial uh, unit we're focusing on mm. yeah I agree it's Margo I agree Can you try? Uh, on, uh, yeah, there was a problem with the microphone on Julian's side. Julian, try mm -hmm. to unmute yourself again, please. Can you hear me now? There's some electrical noise coming. Uh, it might be a malfunction of your microphone. Um, either you try to. It's a disturbing electrical sound coming. Maybe you can connect. That just keeps saying the host has muted you. I'm on a different setting now. Is there any different? Yes, perfect now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I do think it's wise to go globally on things like, on everything really, because it's been my feeling for a long while that it is only the people that are going to take things forward now. We can't ever trust our leaders anymore. Most of them seem to be oppressive and only interested in themselves. So I think um, to keep spreading it as wide as we can and get people motiva motivated. And it obviously appears to be happening because of all the um, people who are rebelling at the moment. So I think it's a good idea. Thanks, sorry for the problem. Mm. Thanks, Julian. At the moment, Israel is uh, is really an inspiration for the world. Not only Can the troublemaker all the time. <laughs> Can you say more about that, Uta? This, um, yeah, what has been said already that um, the fact that so many people rise up 
this this massive awakening and not only awakening but taking a stand day after day week after week and as Efrat said it is here to stay uh, this is something that we would love to see in many places and we don't yet see that so here Israel makes a, a pioneering work and they do it very wisely mostly yeah and it's a it's a it's a really struggle for for the soul of this nation And it is amazing how much influence the Holy Land has with people from other traditions also. Just there. Yes, that the Arabs come into the, the demonstration now, that even the Druze come into the demonstration. Yeah. It's it's really amazing. So beautiful when that happens. And <clears throat> I would like to, to add that uh, uh, people are willing and already pay a very heavy uh, price for this um, in, in all uh, areas. Mm -hmm. Can you say more about that, Helen? So I, I know more. Yes, uh, people, uh, the, the, the demonstration is, is not only on uh, Saturday evening. It's every, every time that there is an important event and people uh, leave their uh, work, don't get paid for these days. Um and uh, the the most uh, I think uh, tremendous uh, I don't know how to to describe it but the uh, the reserve people of the army who declares that they are stop come volunteering they will come if there is a, a real danger but they they stop volunteer to the army. And it's thousands of people, and it's like um, taking part of their heart uh, to say no to, to their friend or to, to this uh, duty, and then paying huge price for this. This is Kathy in Hawaii. I felt a significant increase of power and vitality when the shift included all of uh, Israel, Palestine, and it expanded to Tel Aviv, and and um, and it then that was sustained from the from then on. And I, I felt like it was Devic, Devic, and it was, you know, it was mother, the mother of the world, and uh, really combined in spirit to give substance and tangibility to the will to love and mm -hmm. wisdom. Mm, thank you for this feedback, Kathy. Yeah, I agree. For me also, it felt like this. And interesting what you say, that it has to do also with the Devic life. 
something to be to be pondered. And give substance to the will to love. That's also something to be pondered by this extension. Yes, I, I was thinking exactly about that. But it's interesting because, you know, there is a... Um, when we go through this dead presence, the energy goes to, again, through the dark kingdom and support is stuck. It's not over distributed to people who are not ready. You know? Because the problem of this is when uh, the forces, you know, overcome those movements. And I've seen them that time after time after time. Uh, the forces of materialism. Some something happens, and you know this, but I think that actually, this uh, unification, you know, of of the people of the region, <laughs> I would say. Israelis, Palestinians. I don't know how they can really bridge that gap. But you've been working and we've been, you know, supporting your work for, for a long time. So what is really happening and how this thought form comes through and how this um, alignment can happen. It's, um, it's really interesting, but it's, it is a question. It's like you've been working on that for a long, long time. And yet it is again, another la layer of that question. Mm -hmm. And Virgo is a great moment when you were in Virgo, you know, basically it's not opposing Neptune. So we're kind of on the line of great overshadowing of, um, it's an opposition, but it is this choice between the, higher aspect of Neptune, lower aspect, and the sun, this presence of the soul, right? Personal will of, to love, will of the, of the soul, through the soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, it is interesting how, like, do you remember, I don't know if you remember, but a year ago, when I was stuck in Israel and I was going back and forth on the train, and I told you the impression that <clears throat> I start feeling Israel as a country. Mm -hmm. very, yeah, I, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Very kind of a screeching kind of like sound because it's sort of unaligned and different parts are like in the basket all together, banging in a way each other. But yet, for the first time, felt like oneness, you know. And I think that is the moving forward of that mm -hmm. joint movement, no matter who you are, you know, like on the train, you know, be like Jews, you know, soldiers, be like women, Arabs, whatever, like people are going you know, because they are moved by their goal. And so again, when Virgo so the meaning the next level of the meaning of that unity can be precipitated. This, um, and, and matter can nurture it. You know, mm -hmm. this um, very potent matter given another goal <laughs> will nurture something of the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay, all done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Can you hear me? Yep. Um, it might be helpful to to just add this, and I'm smiling when I do. I belong to uh, two centers, but one I attend twice a week. And uh, the leaders and about 10 people uh, went to Mount Shasta in Northern California because that area is known to be the home of many masters. And the excitement that they shared with us when they came back related to the contacts that they had and the experience that they had was very, very, very inspiring. And so just to add to the conversation, that contact with the masters is very, and the divine plan is very available now, and that's where the power comes to continue. So whenever I feel fatigued, I'm always in meditation, and I know you all are too, uh, to make this a higher contact, which is more available. So it, it is more available now, and it's, it's mm -hmm. a joy to know that we're coming closer and closer. And with the help yeah. of the masters, we're going to win. And it's on us to to become more precise in this also, to use our, to sharpen our antennas to this. In the meditation, um, uh, we, we first linked with the hierarchy, with the planetary heart, and then specifically with those higher co-workers, ashramic co-workers who, who work specifically with this Jerusalem meditation project. I'm feeling for a while that it is time to, to, to dare to be, more, to be more specific with this too. It's actually both sides, be specific upwards and be specific downwards, come to think of it. They want us to dare. <laughs> they want us to reach. Be bold. We're happy. It happens. Same, you're, maybe you're also doing, for. Sorry, sorry, Mark. Go on. And you're just doing beautiful work by connecting us, and they love it. From my experience, when we stand shoulder to shoulder with them as friends, it's what they want us to rise up to that that place to be with them. That's what I see from here, and we're doing a great job of reaching them. Uh, but and also the, the devas is also something that uh, we are invited to become more specific about, yes. about yes. this cooperation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the devas, the fairies, the angels, they're all there asking us to invoke them to help. They want to be working. <laughs> They fill the room, fill the house, fill the fill the neighborhood with them. They love it, and they're there. Yeah. They love. Okay. All right. Anyone else before we close? Beautiful. Okay, so very grateful for this session, for this work we did together. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, so meet you next month. And I believe, Alexander, you have some announcements to make. So I say bye-bye. Continue our journey. Gratitude. Um, Katya reminded me that to share that this Wednesday we invite you to join um, an event that's uh, is hosted by the Peace Week. 
uh, and the May Peace Prevail on Earth uh, group. Um, event called War and Peace, the story for Ukrainian family. And so we inviting you to join us to meet the family who have been living for the last 18 months as a refugees uh, with the community of living ethics in Italy. It will be this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. GMT. It's a story and it's a fundraiser, so it's, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Well, shalom, shalom, chak Beautiful. Shalom, shalom.